Ukraine is preparing to attack the territory of the Russia with long-range missiles. The director of development of the information and consulting company Defense Express, Valery Ryabik, believes that the strikes of Ukrainian UAVs on radars on the territory of the Russian Federation are a sign that the defense forces are preparing to increase attacks on Russia with missiles. He expressed this opinion on the Espresso airwaves. Now, the preparatory stage is being carried out in order to hit the territory of the Russian Federation with long-range missiles. This is evidenced by the strikes of the defense forces against radar systems in Russia. If Ukrainian drones already fly to such a great distance, then this is also an indicator that the fact that the routes are being worked out very meticulously. Also, it is quite likely that our drones will scan the territory of the Russian Federation for the presence of anti-aircraft systems by flying to such a great distance, Ryabik explained. The expert noted that the attacks on the territory of the Russian Federation will increase. Note that with the appearance of long-range missiles in Ukraine is either from our partners or as part of the implementation of our own missile program. Therefore, it is quite likely that strikes on the territory of the Russian Federation will be increased, not only with the help of UAVs, but also with missiles. He added, on May the 26th, a drone of the main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine attacked the Voronezh M over the horizon long-range target detection radar station in the city of Osk, Orenburg region of the Russian Federation. The Ukrainian drone overcame a distance of more than 1,800 kilometers to the enemy's target setting a new record for the range of damage for kamikaze drones. The Ukrainian publications said, the day before, local Russian telegram channels, with reference to law enforcement sources, reported the fall of a UAV near Orsk, which allegedly attacked a military facility. It was noted that there were no casualties or damage. Putin prepares to attack NATO members in Belarus China also intervenes in the matter. The head of the Russian Federation, Vladimir Putin, came to Belarus to prepare an attack on one of the NATO member states. Ukrainian political strategist Taras Zagorodny states this, I consider Putin's activity in Belarus to be preparation for an attack on one of the NATO countries. Most likely, China demands this from Putin in exchange for resources. China needs Russia to completely break with the West and become their ally. I do not rule out that China will demand Russia's participation in the seizure of Taiwan, because its own fleet may not be enough, but Russia has it, expert added. According to him, this is reminiscent of the situation China itself found itself in, in 1969, when it illogically attacked Damansky Island. The United States demanded evidence that it had finally broken with the USSR in exchange for a warming of relations and resources from the United States. China got what it wanted and the United States received a weakening of the USSR since it was now forced to maintain a huge group of troops on the border with China. I do not exclude the simultaneous attack on NATO, Taiwan and South Korea by China in the near future. What is Beijing counting on? The explicit inadequacy of the Sullivan Bjorn group with a course on the constant peace of the aggressors and the concerns of Biden to go to the aggravation before the election. I would like to make mistakes, but very much like that. The expert added, but whether Putin really intends to attack a NATO country and what an attack might look like remains unclear. In March, Putin said he doesn't intend to attack any NATO members, describing such claims as complete nonsense. However, Western military chiefs are not convinced. Earlier, Putin threatened NATO with the prospect of a nuclear attack over its support for Ukraine. He alluded to a suggestion by France's President Emmanuel Macron that NATO could send troops to Ukraine to support its fight against Russia. Russia said it could turn Poland into radioactive ashes and threatened the US. Any US attack on Russian targets in Ukraine would automatically trigger a world war, former Russian President Dmitry Medvedev has warned. The official who currently serves as deputy chair of Russia's Security Council made the remarks after Polish Foreign Minister Radoslaw Sikorsky claimed Washington had threatened to conduct such a strike should Russia use nuclear weapons in Ukraine. In a post on X, Medvedev suggested that Sikorsky apparently 
has decided to scare his masters. He noted that Washington, unlike Warsaw, has so far refrained from making any such threats publicly because they are more cautious than the Poles. Americans hitting our targets means starting a world war, and a foreign minister, even of a country like Poland, should understand that. Medvedev added, the former Russian president also cited remarks made by Polish president Andrzej Duda last month when he said his country would be willing to host US nuclear weapons if offered such an opportunity under NATO's sharing mechanism. Medvedev warned that in case of a nuclear confrontation, Warsaw won't be left out and will surely get its share of radioactive ash, asking if this is the outcome the Polish leadership really wants. In an interview with the Guardian newspaper, Sikorsky expressed skepticism regarding a hypothetical Russian nuclear strike in Ukraine. The Americans have told the Russians that if you explode a nuke, even if it doesn't kill anybody, we will hit all your targets' positions in Ukraine with conventional weapons, we'll destroy all of them. He claimed describing the presumed warning as a credible threat. The Polish diplomat alleged that China and India have also warned Russia against a nuclear escalation. The minister also suggested that Ukraine's Western backers should allow Kiev to use their weapons to strike military targets on Russian territory as, apart from not using nuclear weapons, Moscow does not limit itself much. According to Sikorsky, the EU should not be afraid to escalate the situation and should not impose limits on itself regarding the Ukraine conflict so that Moscow is left guessing what the next step will be.